tight deadlines, reading documentation, urgent emails, and testing. There are so many things nowadays that stop developers from being productive. However, we have the significant advantage of being able to automate so much of what we do nowadays. So in today's video, we're going to check out some awesome command line tools that will boost your day-to-day -day productivity no matter what language you code in. And let us know what command line tools you like to use in the comments below. Why did the Vim user refuse to switch to NeoVim? Because they were afraid of colon WQ. Get it? Because colon WQ means to save a change, which is a Vim command. Okay, never mind. NeoVim is a fork of a popular Vim editor, which is really worth your time if you get to know how to use it. Now, if you haven't heard of Vim, let me give you a quick rundown. Vim was made all the way back in 1991 and allows programmers to have a really fast and customizable editor in their terminal. The productivity boost comes because you only use your keyboard Board, so there's no awkward back and forth with your mouse. NeoVim provides a hugely improved editor experience. Here are some examples. NeoVim supports syntax highlighting, which makes it a lot easier to read and understand your code, as well as to find errors. NeoVim also supports auto-completion, which saves you a lot of time by suggesting code snippets, function names, and variable names. You can also use NeoVim to quickly search and replace all keywords in your file. NeoVim offers extra capabilities, like the ability to preview your changes before you make the change or limit your search to a certain range of lines. And let's be honest, who has the time to remember Vim keyboard shortcuts? I certainly don't. NeoVim comes with a pop-up menu that shows you all the commands that you can run so that you don't have to memorize anything. And if you want to take a plunge into learning a little bit more about Vim, give Learn Vim the Smart Way a try, which is an open source book, or Vim Adventures if you like to gamify your learning a little bit. The next tool I want to talk about is called the f the f wait stop censoring me it's literally the name of the tool thank you this tool is called the fuck and it really lives up to its name you know how sometimes you type a command into the command line and you make a mistake but you're too lazy to go back and fix it the fuck is a great tool because it automatically corrects your previous command with the appropriate one so for example if I type in the word puthon I'm gonna get an error because that command doesn't exist. But all I have to do is type in fuck into the command line and it will automatically output the right command, Python, for me. It can also help me complete my git push command by adding a flag that will add an upstream branch. And let's be honest, we've all hit this one before and we all hate manually typing out that flag. Or if I do something silly like screw up my brew command, the fuck can quickly identify what I meant to have typed. The fuck comes with a lot of rules enabled by default but it's also fully customizable, so you can define your own commands and even your own responses. You heard me right. That means you can customize the fuck to print profanities at you when you accidentally mess up a command. Though you might want to check with your therapist if that's the right move for you. The fuck is completely free and open source and it's available on macOS, Windows, and Linux. Install it right now and remember that the next time you make a mistake in the command line, just say fuck it and let the fuck do its thing. All right, one of the most annoying things about working in the command line is navigating files. The first commands I had to learn in the command line was ls and cd, but thanks to Fuzzy Finder, I can navigate directories and files in my command line at lightning speed, even faster than if I were to navigate with my mouse. There was not a high bar to top given how slow Spotlight is on the Mac. For example, this command allows me to fuzzy search for a directory and then change to it. I admit I am guilty of the classic ls, then cd, then ls, then cd, then ls, then cd, then ls, then cd. You get what I'm saying. Fuzzy Finder makes it really easy to work with Git, especially if you have a lot of branches. You can use this command to search for a very specific Git branch and then check it out. It's really useful if you're like me and you use tons of Git branches to test out very random changes. Fuzzy Finder is also great for package management. Running this command allows you to search for an installed package and see its details immediately. You can even use it to navigate your command history and re-execute previous commands. Isn't that so useful? And one thing I like to do is set aliases for all of these commands so that I can activate them even more quickly. Now these are just a few examples of what you can do, but fundamentally Fuzzy Find takes the annoying part out of using the command line and makes things blazingly fast. HTTPy makes it extremely easy to interact with HTTP servers. Now I know what you're thinking, why can't I just use curl? 
Maybe if you're trying to make a simple HTTP request with absolutely no parameters, then curl is the exact same in terms of character count. But the real power of HTTP is how fast you can type in parameters that you will most likely be sending in your HTTP request. Let's say I want to make a post request to send a JSON payload to an API endpoint and receive back a JSON response. Here's what it looks like in HTTP versus curl. As you can see, it's much easier to type out HTTPI's command versus curl, and they do the exact same thing. What's more is that HTTPI has built-in JSON support, which means that it'll automatically parse JSON data in both the request and response. Also, with just a simple flag, HTTPI lets you turn JSON output from this to this. Isn't that so much more pretty? There's also an insane amount of extra features like proxies, auth plugins for your cloud providers, cool colored outputs, and more. Everything uses HTTP nowadays. So if you want to be able to test out your API endpoints without having to use huge tools like Postman, which are a pain to use, then I highly recommend using HTTP. If you use Docker, you know how overly complex that tool can get. Managing containers, building images, creating composed files, it's a lot. At the cost of what? Your sanity. Lazy Docker understands the philosophy that being lazy is not bad. It's actually genius by providing a command line tool that strips away a lot of the functional Docker commands into one really easy to view window. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Running Lazy Docker launches a Lazy Docker UI that allows you to manage all of your Docker containers, images, networks, and volumes. You can click on a service and see everything you need to monitor things like logs, stats, config files, etc. There's also a really easy pop-up menu that allows you to do things like stop a service, remove a service, restart a service, prune all unused images, and more. All of these can be executed with a single keystroke. Docker, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I say this because I love you, but all of these commands you want me to memorize, it's not it. Docker PS start event history image exec create config commit tag compose import info checkpoint node port restart system top trust update run sandwich service service. Okay, I'll stop now. Docker is really awesome software and Lazy Docker just improves your developer productivity by getting rid of those commands that you would probably have to Google anyways. This is a must have tool for any Docker user. And that's it. I really hope these tools improve your developer productivity because they have definitely made my life a lot better. If I missed anything in this video, please let me know in the comments below what command line tool you cannot live without. And if you want to see more tips on how to become an expert in the terminal, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and thank you again for watching. See ya!